Hello everyone, thank you for joining us today. Today I wanted to show you something uh, related to drag and drop between elements in the dashboard. Uh, so it's pretty much uh, uh, the code, not much to show except the code itself. So uh, we have a dashboard, fairly simple, uh, just two tables uh that have the same structure and what we're trying to do here orders in order archive two tables and what we're trying to do here we're trying to implement drag and draw functionality between uh these two grids these two tables in the dashboard uh we made it for simplicity of this tutorial we made it uh, fully symmetrical uh, so you can uh, drag a record from one grid to another and vice versa. So it works both ways. So let me show you how it works. So I uh, pick up a record on the left side, order ID number 10. And I drag it to the right side. I can choose where I drop it. And so it's not only moving the record from one table to another. It also places it at uh, the specific position, exactly where I dropped it. So to do so, we uh, perform two AJAX uh, posts. One is with the order ID uh, of the order that we're moving, and another one is a list of uh, or IDs not order IDs, but just the order sort order that we are changing. And uh, if we want to move another, okay, order number eight, if you want to move it to the left grid, it is, it's moved. And if we reload the page, okay, let's move a couple more records. Uh, yeah, you can see that uh, uh, the number increases. On the right side, so it's uh, 91 and 34 here. And we drag one more record, 35 here and just 90 here. And if we reload the page, you can see that it stays. So uh, for this purpose, we use uh, a jQuery UI uh, plugin that goes by the name, uh, name Sortable. So yeah, this is it. That's the plugin that we use. And it implements uh, drag and drop, right? Uh, what we're doing here, we just uh, drag and drop from one container to another. That's also all implemented with the help of the plugin. So our job is mostly to initialize the plugin properly. And once... Uh, drag event is completed, uh, we perform uh, AJAX requests to update the database. So code is for both tables almost identical. Uh, the only difference is, uh, is the name of the second table. So this is order tables, one that is uh, a primary table. So the connect table, the one that we uh, we're working with is order archive. We need to know names of both tables. So we can pass it to our uh, AJAX routine. And uh, for the second table, uh, it's exactly the same code, but connect table name is orders. So let's uh, see what we do here. So first we initialize the plugin. Again, this code mostly coming from, uh, from the sample code that comes from the plugin. And uh, we specify what uh, uh, another element that we connect with. We figure out what kind of uh, ID this element has. So it's a dash element connect table underscore grid. Uh, so I can show you what it means and uh, we reference panel body. So what we need to do, we need to tell our plugin uh, 
which areas of uh, of the page uh, we can drop our element to and we need to do that for both tables so this plugin is uh, coming with php runner so you don't need to install it first of all this project will be available in uh, members area and uh, it's mostly javascript the php code is really simple basically uh, inserts a record into one table and deletes it from another initialization part is easy we just uh, telling our plugin how what uh, where we can drop our something that we drag from here also we specify our items that we allow to drag so also uh, t body that grid row meaning that will be multiple uh, this kind of tag defines every single uh, matches every single row in the grid this is the receive function uh, this function it will be called by the plugin when uh, you know, when we uh, drop an element here and so the receiving part the receiving grid uh, does most of the job so what we need to do here first of all we need to find order id again if uh, uh, if you're going to do this uh, with your database with your own database so the field name needs to be changed so we find uh, uh, in the source uh, source grid where we dragging from we are finding uh, order id and we initialize uh, also order array where we store or orders of uh, so there are two parts. Uh, uh, first part is that we send a first uh, post request after the, after drag and drop is finished, and we tell him that our action is replace row. We are dragging data from connect table and to the current table, and order ID is our order ID that we retrieved from order ID field okay and we also uh, write to the console the response then second part is that we also update the sort order so we want to insert uh, that uh, new record into that specific location so we don't just drop it and uh, it disappears somewhere we really want it to stay exactly where we dragged it so the, for this reason uh for this purpose we execute a second uh second post request and we are telling uh, we needed to properly uh, reorder uh, records in uh, both grids and after that we update uh Oh, that we call the function update details we call it for both elements for both grids and uh, for the source grid we decrease the count of uh, how many records uh, we have total and for the receiving grid we increase the count so this is pretty much it if uh, this is our function that uh, update details uh, again uh, since we are moving the elements uh, from one grid to another, we know that um, uh, one of them will increase, one of them will decrease. And since we know that, we don't really need to calculate, we don't need to execute any additional SQL queries to actually calculate or recalculate the number of records in the table. We don't do that.